Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a regular octagon. So a regular octagon when given the length of the side. So for this particular video I'm going to be using a side of 5 cm. So when I talk about a regular octagon that means it has 8 sides. So we are going to be having something like this. So this is just a rough uh, sketch. So you can see this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight sides, eight sides. So in doing this, what we are just going to be needing is our ruler and our protractor to get this done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, draw one side of the octagon, which is five centimeter. So that is from this point to this point represents five centimeter. So another thing I want to do is to extend it to the right and to the left, so that when we are placing our protractor, it will be easy for us to get our angles. So this is going to be point A and then point, point B. So now I'll bring in my protractor and I'll place it on point, point B. So on point B I'll locate angle 45 degrees. So from this direction I'm going to measure 45 degrees. So 45 degrees is here. That's 45 degrees. And then on point A I'll also measure 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees and we are going to draw a line from point A so from point A to where we marked 45 degrees we are going to draw a line of 5 cm so from this point now if I'm to count in it so from here that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so you can go ahead to make it bold. That's it. So I'll make it bold. So I'll just give it a little extension with a faint line. So with a faint line. So you're going to be having something like this. So the same thing here. So from point B to where we mark our angle 45. So we are going to count 5 centimeters. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is it. So you can go ahead to, to make it bold. Then you extend it with a faint line. So, having done that, we we'll bring back our protractor. We we'll place it in this position on this line. So, we place it in this position on this line, like this. So, you look for 45 degrees, you mark 45 degrees. So, same thing here. So on this, at the end of that, so let me call this A, B, let me call this point C, and let me call this point D. So from point D, that's the end of that 5 centimeter, you are going to place your protractor like this. So you mark 45 degrees in this direction, note the direction, so in this direction like this, this is 45 degrees. So we are going to do the same thing, we bring back our ruler. So from point C. We are going to from point C to where we have our 45 degree. This is it, but this is where 5 cm ends. So note that this is the 45 degree mark. But we can, so we will just extend it to 5 cm. We draw a straight line. So having done that, we are going to extend it with faint line again. So let me call this point, point E. So we are going to repeat the same thing from point D. So on point D to the point where we mark our 45 degrees. So you measure 5 cm from point D. So this is 13. From this point now, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've made it bold. So I'm, but I'm still going to extend it with a faint line. So you'll be having something like this. So let me call this point F. Point F. So we'll bring back our compass again. I mean our protractor. So you place it on point F. So make sure it's properly placed. So having done that, you measure 45 degrees like this, in this direction. So this is 45 degree mark. I'll place it on point E, like this. So 45 degrees, look at in this direction. So in this direction like this, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in between this, this is the 45 degree mark. So we bring our ruler, 
So from point E to where we have our 45 degree mark. So this is where we have our 45 degree, but this is where 5 centimeter is. If you measure it from this point, that this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you make it bold. So there's no need to give any extension because that's there's no need to give extension when you get to this stage. So the same thing we are going to do here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So since we, we now have one side left, we can easily connect them. So if you place a ruler on it, you'll see that it's giving us that five centimeter. So you can go ahead and join it. So, so let's just call it, uh, let's call this G and H. So with this now, we've been able to draw a regular octagon giving the side of five centimeters. So this is five, five centimeters. So irrespective of the length of the size that you are giving, just follow the step. It's the same step. So even if you are working with more than five centimeters or less than five centimeters, just follow the step. Use the angle of 45 degrees. Place your protractor the same way I placed it and look for your 45 degrees, you know, and you'll be fine. So yeah, I did, did it like this. Yeah, it was like this. I got my 45 degrees. Yeah, it was like this. I got 45 degrees. So uh, that is it on this video on how to draw a regular polygon giving the length of one of the side. So if you also want to check out uh, the description of this video, you'll find link on how to draw other regular polygon when giving the length of the side. So I leave a link like the pentagon, hexagon, and other polygon. Just check the description of this video. You are going to find the link. And if you have any question or any comments or any video requests, do leave them in the comment section below. Also check out our playlist on technical drawing and in technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there I believe will be of help to you. You can also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And before I go, please, if you are here to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So click on subscribe to this channel and the little bell icon so that you get notified when I release any video. So thank you very much and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.